so pre-tensioning right so where we can use this concept of pre-tensioning uh, in the day-to-day -day use we see cylinder and cylinder head arrangement right so in the cylinder head arrangement we see this kind of arrangement right in this bolts are attached like this if combustion takes place here and it bursts then it will create some amount of force on this plate and this bolt will try to stretch it up and it tends to get failed right so we make sure that we tight it right so it won't fail right in addition to that at the time of uh, make this joint we also tight this bolt by the use of tool right so it will add additional energy in this bolt for example if this is bolt if you only measure its strength then it will give x amount of stress x amount of stress where it will get fed but when we tighten up the bolt and then we'll measure its strength if plate is here and if we tighten up this bolt and then we measure its strength then the strength will be different than the sole bolt why because pre-tension is always already done in the bolt we already tighten up this bolt additional force is already been there in the bolt and in addition to that we apply additional force over here and that is why bolt will fail on the different stress and different force so how can we measure so if we take a simple arrangement like uh, this is the plate and we pile up two plates and tighten it by our simple bolt then we'll see that if additional force is acting like this for example on the upper, upper part of the plate right so the both the element will face same amount of force say for the example force p is the total force and the force bear by bolt and force bear by plate let's say force bear by bolt and force bear by plate force bear by bolt and force bear by plate so total force is equal to force bear by bolt and force bear by plate right so the total force will act on both the element we are taking small amount of entity from this here right so here we have two unknowns so we need compatibility equation to solve this equation so additional we assume that the amount of deformation will happen in this bolt the equal amount of deformation will happen this plate so we can say that deformation in the bolt is equal to deformation in the plate that's how the plate and bolt joint will get leak proof why leak proof if we have cylinder arrangement right and the gases will burn here it will get explosion the piston will only go down the only sole condition is that head will fix it here if head will remove from this place then piston will not go down so the sole requirement for this joint to be met is the joint should be leak proof right to get our purpose fearful uh, our uh, requirement to solve these two entities is uh, those uh, components like bolt and plate will deform equally so uh, by the spring analogy we'll see that the stiffness or I should say stiffness stiffness is defined by amount of force will create amount of deformation the ratio of both of it will give us stiffness right 
so individually this component and this component both of will have individual stiffness say stiffness of bolt and stiffness of plate so by following the spring analogy the deformation will be force upon stiffness right here we denote stiffness as s but for the stiff uh, spring analogy both are equal k and s right so it won't matter so deformation in the bolt will be force faced by bolt upon stiffness of the bolt and deformation of the plate will be equal to force bear by plate upon stiffness of the plate right if we sum up our conclusion then we'll say that both should be equal this and this so we can check that uh, pb upon sp is equal to pp upon sp by rearranging we say that pp is equal to pb sp upon sp right if we put this equation here then force p equal to pb plus this here pb sp sp right force p is equal to pb 1 plus sp on sp by simplifying it pp sp plus sp on sp okay now if we if we individually take this arrangement then we'll see that uh, resultant force this bolt the resultant force in this bolt will be equal to the pre-tensioning force if we say fi in initial force it's called pre-tensioning force right plus amount of pressure amount of force which we gave externally on this bolt pp so resultant force on the bolt will be initial tensioning force initial plus pressure bear by or force bear by bolt and resultant force on the plate is equal to the uh, uh, according to third law of the newton the force tightened up by uh, force caused due to the tighten up by this bolt will cause initial tension in this bolt will equally push this plate down right so it will cause a compression force in this plate so minus fi plus pp right the resultant force on the plate is equal to a force bear by plate minus initial force so two resultant entities will face okay so uh, the equation we got here the uh, main force in terms of bolt and the stiffness of the element the resultant force uh, will face by the bolt is equal to initial tension pre-tension plus pb pb means a uh, uh, force bear by bolt so if we rearrange it we'll see p into sb sb plus sp right so this will be the resultant force here by bolt and the resultant force by plate is equal to pp minus fi and if you find uh, pp then uh, we'll use this equation that pp is equal to pb into uh, sp by sp pb will substitute from here so pp is equal to p into sp sb plus sp into sp upon sb here right this entity represent this by rearranging it we'll see pp is equal to p into sp sb plus sp right we'll put it here then we'll see that resultant force on the plate is equal to p into sp sp plus sb minus fi which caused by pre-tension of the bolt so now we see that our two relations are here the main two relation which we want to found it right so our main intention was to make this joint leak proof 
if we want to make this joint as a leak proof then there must be there must be some kind of compression on this plate only then it will be at this pressure inside pressure which will caused by gases right so plate must be on the compression plate must be face compression and that is how we'll arrange this formula that resultant force on the plate the resultant force on the plate must be compression must be compression so how can we do this uh, we see that resultant force in the plate less than equal to zero right so p into sp sp plus sb minus initial tensioning should be should be less than zero so by the property of inequality if we bring this fi on the other side then we'll see that uh, p into sp sp plus sp should be should be less than pretension force so we found out here that initial tensioning in this bolt the tensioning which will cause by the tighten of the nut should be more than this entity what will represent by this entity this is the this is the external force caused by any of this situation there may be initial pressure due to combustion there may be a cylinder which will fill up by water another chemical gas anything if we want to make this joint leak proof then this force into the ratio of the this entity we call it stiffness it should be less than this pretension so this is how i explain thanks for watching